Something you have seen on this channel this year is I'm making it a purpose to go to events as an attendee so that I can hone my craft and get better. The very first thing that I bought was a uh, grow with video from the one and only Sean Cannell, uh, who has been on the channel, who's a good friend and I know will bring the value. So Sean, how's it going? It's going good. Grateful to be back on the channel with you. Awesome. Well, uh, you do an amazing thing. I've seen lots of the interviews over the years with Grow With Video. Why don't you tell you tell the audience, what is your vision for this year? What do you hope the audience takes away from this year's event? Yeah, we've been hosting this uh, event in Las Vegas for six years. There's been a break uh, last year, and but it's just continued to build momentum. And really, it is our goal is to make it the number one online video education event for entrepreneurs, business owners, and business-minded content creators. Another way to put it is we know there's this whole ed entertainment side of YouTube, kind of the Mr. Beast side, Ryan Trahan, and uh, a man especially probably in the ORAT community, which I'm a part of. It's like, we're not out here trying to be Mr. Beast. No. Um, but there's this whole other side of education, and that gets into personal finance and real estate or cooking or teaching what you know or even um, a little bit different than ed edutainment. You know, one of our speakers this year, Pat Flynn, not only is the founder of Smart Passive Income and helps people with affiliate marketing, originally made thousands taking what he knew, I think, in an architecture test and, mm -hmm. and putting out content and then selling a course to help people pass some certification test. So these different things, but one of the channels he has now is actually about Pokemon cards. But it's kind of creatively doing it and as a father and it's grown up to 700,000 subscribers. So it really leans business, lots of loan officers, real estate agents mm. that want to get leads and clients. And of course, we want to learn the best practices we can from the entertainment side. And there's this whole term edutainment. So there's really a mix. But the, I think we we really, as far as I know, on the planet, there's, a really, there's some other events that really emphasize the entertainment side, Mr. B side. But I think we're the number one event just trying to uh, really focus on educators, business owners, mm -hmm. and those that also want to really monetize their passion with video. That is the thing that you just hit that I want my audience to take away from. Something I'm really starting to push is folks that are over 40 who frankly didn't grow up with video, didn't grow up with social media, right? If you think in Gen Z or millennials, they had a phone you know, seemingly at birth. But Gen X and baby boomers, we didn't have that. So it's very different to us. It's kind of foreign. It, 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 it just doesn't come native to us. However, we are business owners. We do have the ability to talk about something we've loved for 10 or 20 years. And I'm trying to get my audience on purpose. I just did a video yesterday about why 40-year-olds should get started, right? The three things you should do. And your event, I'm telling you, well, uh, Gen X and boomers need to be here. If you have a small business, if you have a side hustle, if you have a passion, whether it's cooking or classic cars or whatever it is, there is a community or tribe out there for you. If you build it now, you will have something amazing in five years. Frankly, all of my audience who are starting channels now need to be at this event. Uh, we'll hit it now. We'll hit it again at the end. You're offering a, a coupon code that makes the price of admission less than a hundred bucks. Is that right? Yes, for general admission, for your community, we'd love to hook them up. And I mean, if you can get to Vegas, and it is in person only too, we're really valuing um, that experience. Of course, we love online, and here we are able to connect all around the world. Um, but yeah, you can uh, attend M Hotel, Las Vegas, um, right there, kind of on the southern tip as you come into on the 15. Really great um, event location. And uh, yeah, promo code Zuber and people can get a great price on tickets. Yeah, sub a hundred bucks. Uh, well, now let's tell them who's coming. Uh, you 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 announced somebody massive, I think it was eight, six, eight weeks ago. Uh, if somebody missed that, who, who's the legend that's kind of keynoting all this? Yeah, so we have Dave Ramsey and it's wild because we were, we were wondering lobbing out like big requests like dave's dave's hard to get he, he doesn't speak really anywhere besides his own events and right. he doesn't need to he doesn't need to travel much uh he just got off a couple a two-month trip with his wife and uh, of course is then building out ramsey solutions out in nashville mm -hmm. um but once he uh 
even said that it was a possibility. It wasn't cheap, but we're talking <laughs> about Dave Ramsey. And some people were like, Dave Ramsey at kind of a YouTube and social media and social video conference. And I was like, yeah, he's he's the ultimate content creator. One, I agree. I just added it up. If you look at their collective YouTube channels, 104 million views per month. This last that 30 all? days. Is that all? Is that all? <laughs> In a month. I know. And wow. Just YouTube, because they also, they talk about how they're platform agnostic. They they have the Ramsey show that streams on Rumble and it streams on YouTube and they're starting to post on X and they're not really seeing Twitter X. They're not seeing much traction yet, but nevertheless, it's like when you start to chop up the content, but Dave, of course, was selling VHS tapes with his personal finance advice and New York Times bestselling author and his radio and has kind of evolved and reinvented himself and even built a succession plan. So that's that's a that's a one of zero, as Alex Hermosi says, I, like to I have agree. not only to have Dave, but to have him speak into this environment. It's a very rare environment. And then we have Cody Sanchez, who just crossed a million subscribers. Yeah. And and that's when we think about our speakers, that's kind of our criteria. Are they actually business owners? Mm -hmm. Do they have a real business? Do they also, and are they educators? Dave teaches personal finance. Cody teaches many things, but small business and laundry mats and, you know, overtake a business and, and private equity, all kind of stuff. Right. So she's yeah. business education. We have Pat Flynn you mentioned smart passive income as well as deep pocket monster. And, you know, in one of our future episodes, we're talking about community. He's the author of Superfans and really uh, talks a lot about it's really not just about going as wide as possible with views, but actually going deep. Shalene Johnson, who is her and her husband, Brett, business partner, have built and sold multiple eight figure businesses, whether in supplements, whether in fitness, fitness, DVDs, marketing, um, physical uh, retail places, now digital and recently her YouTube channel, she didn't take it serious. And she said, Sean, it's like one of my biggest kind of regrets. I've been other places, but she really got serious about her video podcast. She's going to be breaking all of that down. How wow. really she just kind of ignored YouTube, let it sit there, also made many mistakes, but how she's dialed it in and in a way revived a channel that was stagnated as well as what the new school stuff she's doing with a value towards autonomy, freedom. I don't want this to overtake my life. What are smart systems? The fact we're going to get to learn that. And then we also have like Nikki Saunders, who's an AI expert and some of the best tools for saving time, uh, for creating content, doing it easily with your phone. And then myself, the Think Media team, uh, Brian leading some of the different panels and uh, our Think Media team. So it's it's a great lineup. And we're emphasizing um, community and, and networking as well as also, you know, Q and A and processing issues. One of the biggest things I learned from Patrick Bet David at the vault was he would, uh, help us. That's one of the things he loves to do is help process issues. Not just kind of hit information one way, start talking about it two ways and, and developing kind of a problem solving mindset that everything is figure outable, but let's process through issues and come to the best possible conclusion might not even know that we're hundred percent right, but like the Jeff Bezos, 70% rule, like, okay, yeah. based on everything now let's strategically move forward. So, uh, I'm excited about how the speaker lineup all came together and then, and then you're going to be there and, I will. uh, thinking about, um, that there's many opportunities to connect with really intelligent, um, creative people like yourself who put in the work and have learned all these nuggets and insights. And so the level of people that you'll be meeting in the hallways and mm -hmm. in the sessions and during the networking, and we have a networking yeah. party one night, that whole thing, all that stuff. So it's, I'm excited. I think again, um, one of the things I really want people on my channel who lean older, right? 40 and above is to really think about, even if you have a full-time job, which most people on my channel do, you have a passion or a hobby or an interest that you should be sharing. And oh, by the way, you should be sharing it now so you have something in three to five years. And I think this event is the place to be. When I think about Dave Ramsey, whether or not you like all of his advice, he is the OG of content. And he has morphed several times, right? From physical VHS to online to this to that. And uh, I actually watched your interview with him at Ramsey Solutions. I thought that was amazing. And if he brings one-tenth of that value to the event, it's going to be amazing. I know he'll bring more, but it, it, he, I'm just going to, I mean, I don't agree with his financial advice, but that's, it's not a financial advice event. It's how he uses, you know, video to move forward. And I'm like, 
I get it. Let's go. Yep. Uh, then you got Cody Sanchez, the newest addition to the lineup. She's amazing. She has the ability to articulate very complex things into simple stories. Uh, she does use video in lots of different mediums, kind of the you know day in the life, if you will. And to see her blow up with purpose to over a million subs in what seemingly seemed like a minute, there's just, just so much there. Then you have Shaleen, who's 50 plus, uh, who's been doing content for a while and is is going to go from, hey, I ignored it too long to, oh my God, it's working. AI is going to, it's for less than a hundred bucks, given the uh, discount code or, or coupon code Zuber. I don't know why you're not coming. It's, it's going to be a couple of days. Uh, I will be there. If you are coming, tell me. We'll, we'll get some coffee or take some pictures or whatnot, but um, I'm super pumped. It was the first event I signed up for. I signed up for it when it was before you announced anybody uh, because I knew this was an event that would make me better. And I wanted to show you um, some love for, for helping me all these years. So I was, I was happy to pay uh, full boat VIP platinum, whatever the heck it is. Uh, Cause I just want to thank you for always being there for me, answering my texts, picking up my phone. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that means the world to me. And you know, I also I think this is an important event at an important time. I wanted to share. I looked it up just to confirm the exact numbers. Sixty seven percent of baby boomers ages 60 to 77 watch YouTube. The highest peak, that's seven out of 10, right? So the yeah. highest is, is going to be older Gen Z, younger millennials, kind of that core audience. But that okay. just would speak to you're talking about Gen X, elder millennials, all the way up to baby boomers. We have many. Uh, we have uh, some of our students with a million subscribers, 64 years old, Mary's Nest. Uh, we think Dr. Andrea, I believe she's, uh, again, just helping people. And she's talked about how people can't, she does a lot of chronic pain work. She um, talks about how people around the world can't afford, um, you know, a lot of medical care or they don't have access to good information, which is even some exercises for nerve pain and hot press and cold press. And she's gotten testimonies of people in tears mm. from around the world. She's a Canadian doctor, doesn't even really need the money, but she's like, wow, the money that's coming in now <laughs> is so it's, it's extra, but it's yeah. about impact. And it's, right. as I started putting impact. out my message, now I'm getting messages and I didn't realize how I could reach over state lines and even nation lines and even, even bodies of oceans to around wow. the world to, to touch and change people's lives. And the, and the final thing is Goldman Sachs research said, that the creator economy, this kind of new small business owner that is is taking a passion, putting it online, monetizing it, is going to double in the next three years. Mm -hmm. That from about a $250 billion a year total addressable market, it'll be a half a trillion dollar industry by 2027. And mm -hmm. what's wild is that level of acceleration is just massive. Like it's already this whole movement. Stories like yours to think about what you've been living uh, stories like so many people I got to meet at your event and and all the different Matt, the mortgage guy and the uneducated economist, just a while to think about just filming videos in his car. Super his car. Simple. Yeah, that's yeah, simple. And and to think about. But all of those stories, those are doubling in the next three years. Agreed. So also, uh, I think someone might say, is it too late? You know, or it seems like this industry, you know, it wouldn't be saturated now. Well, the dictionary definition of saturation would actually mean that it would have to have plateaued, yet there's increasing content creators. But right now, there's more people who want to create content, but there's an expanding audience still. So the fact there's an expanding consumption of videos and expanding consumption of views and even more people coming on the internet, that's where we really see data analysts saying that we're in a wave. And so who, who's the next Michael Zuber? Yeah. And over the next three years, because they are bold, take action, get uncomfortable, learn some skills, punch fear in the face. And yeah. so we're, it's interesting. It's almost like going to be a next wave because there's been many, I've got to come and go like you've seen in the economy and in real mm -hmm. estate, I've seen kind of the ups and downs. And a lot of people saying, oh, that must've, you yeah, had to start YouTube in 2014, or that was the only time. Yeah. Well, okay. You know what? Actually 2018, but if you didn't do it then, that was the only time. But yeah. we're coming back in 2024 to this sort of a reset, if you will, where there's already a ton of momentum, some maturity to the industry, but a whole new wave that's happening right now. And you add in AI and you add in um, a lot of what's happening with the decentralization of education. Anyways, I'm very excited about it. And I think this could be a strategic event for mm -hmm. those that have any desire at all, even just to kind of explore YouTube 
content creation, meet some great people, learn yeah. some incredibly powerful practical skills that'll lift every area of your life. It's going to be a powerful event. Folks, again, if you have a pat, if you're a Gen X or a baby boomer, you have something, you have life events, you have stories that you could share. And again, it's it's not about a million subs, but it is about finding your tribe, finding your community. And trust me, as somebody who gets notes daily, it is an amazing feeling. It doesn't happen overnight. I'm not telling you it does. But if you start now, you will have something amazing in two or three years. Do me a favor, follow Sean Cannell, follow Think Media. Frankly, buy his book. I've read it several times now. Where can they get the book? Where can they follow you? Um, We actually just launched a... a, a a just pay shipping opportunity on the book. So at nice. YT, the letters YTsecrets.com, uh, up to seven dollars, and and it's uh, we calculate it. It's kind of a new project for us. So depending on where you live, we'll make a dollar, and a lot of times we'll lose three. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, but we're trying to testing it out. But I mean, you might as well take advantage of it right now. So YTsecrets.com, um, and that's the second edition of the book. And then yeah, you can follow me on any of the social platforms, but grateful for this community and truly love it. Daily financial news is like my favorite show keeps me in the know. And, uh, also just evolving my real estate education knowledge. My wife and I are trying to be smart and, uh, and, and one rental at a time, which is actually legit, admittedly the model we're following as we're looking at, uh, three properties right now, total, you know, and flipping one to long-term rental and then thinking about, but what's the next one? And, and uh, thinking about slow and steady. So really love there all you the value you're um, uh, giving us. It's really changed our lives. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sean. You're amazing.